Okay, form Kato sound, our first degree form. So feet together, chariot, kyunge, chubi position is a double spear hand. So hit the ribs, right hand on top. Then I bend the elbows, step, double spear low. The timing will be one, two, one, two. So it's one, two, one, two. All right, first move, I step back, double pseudo block. My hands should be on the same plane and they should be pointing in the same direction. So when I look at them, it's like two rockets go in the same direction. They never are going to intersect. They're parallel with one another. And then my hands and my elbows and my forearms should be on the same plane. So if I had a big piece of plywood here, my hand and elbow are touching the plywood. This hand and elbow are touching the same plywood. So it's on the same plane. All right. So over here, we step back, double, and then twist, chop. See how much I'm twisting this back foot? That's super important. You got to get a lot of twist in that thing. The knot of my belt comes around. Pull through, chamber, side kick, land, chop, punch. Front stance. And then from here, I'm going to do another side kick that way. So I point my foot that way to kind of just get my hips in the right position. And I'm going to pull through. I have to chamber my knee all the way back here. So I pull through the chamber and then kick. And then I land in pseudo block here. And that will be all strong and hard like usual. So I point that foot, pull through, chamber, kick, pseudo. And then I fold. I step in, chop into a back stance, front stance, flat chop, and then punch. So watch my hand. I fold this hand just over my ear. This hand is palm out. When I step, it's going to be like a back stance, chop. And then this hand is going to go front stance, flat chop, and then punch. And then we're going to do that slow as you're learning it, but as you get closer to knowing it, testing, or maybe repeating, then it's going to be more fluid. It's all together. So then it'll look like this fold, chop, chop, punch. All right, next move. I have an attacker coming from behind. I look. Turn pseudo block. Skip kick, and I want to make sure I control my hands, let your hands fly. Control kick, my punch, and look to the mirror. This is kind of a tricky combination, but it's going to be a side block twist, front stance, side block twist, butterfly. So again, make sure your palms are out, left hand is on top, twist block, front stance punch, twist block. Butterfly. And the timing will be one, two, three, four. So it'll be one, two, three, four. And going this way, pull both hands back, step, double punch. And I want to think about punching like eye level. So I'm aiming at my eyes, hitting the cheekbone, my thumb, so my hand is not flat, it's not straight up, it's kind of at an angle, just like that. Thumb, thumb joints are basically touching each other. So we did side block, punch, side block, butterfly, step, double punch. Now I got a tapper coming from this way. This footwork is different than anything that you've ever done before. It kind of breaks the rules of marching basics. Usually, marching basics, I would have the foot that's behind slide to that tapper. This one, we're pushing off and going that way, and then all the way to the corner. So it's not going to be straight 180. It's going to be a little bit more going to the angle that way. Okay? And then as I do that, it's going to be chop punch. So I'm here, going towards straight that wall. I see somebody coming, so I look, but I'm going to turn this way. Right hand top, straight arm, and then I grab their head, and I smash. And your arms should be really at 90 degree angles. Okay, so fist fits right in there. Straight, grab, smash. And then I'm going to step through, do a spin hook kick. So I'm about having that back heel point. Then hook, fighting stance. And try to have your foot and hand land at the same time, which looks more tight. So again, the back foot. Point, hook, fighting stance, and then I pull through, axe kick, put weight on that front foot, hit the ribs again, and I'm doing 
a x block. And now I'm going towards this corner. So we were at that corner, now we're going to this corner. And then I've got a couple of new stances here. As I pull back, I'm going to do a cat stance. Cat stance would be kind of like if I had my feet together, but I bring the heel up. And then I'm in that position, I pull back. So we'll start from the beginning. So it's hit, pull back one of the cat stance. Hands are kind of funky too, so they were at X. A way I have students kind of remember this is we're at X, go to Y, and then Z, and then you pull it back. And if you have your right hand up, like you're right to do a punch, you know you did it right. If you somehow do X, Y, Z, and your right hand is palm down, that's opposite from what it needs to be. It needs to be here. And the hands should never let go of each other. They're in contact, it's just a nice, smooth tr transition where you kind of roll off one another and pull back. Okay? So, I'm going to get towards that corner. That was X, Y, Z. And then I step, punch. My feet are in the horse stance, but the horse stance is going, my toes are this way, kind of like if I was doing a double punch. Or horse stands punching that way, but I'm punching this way. So X, Y, Z, cat stance, punch, set to the left, slow motion, palm, press lock, and then I step up, make an X, slow motion, and press double block. Okay, so that whole combination looks like this. X, Y, Z, and the cat stance. Horse stance punch. Look, slow motion press in the back seat. Step up, slow press, and your feet are basically like in chumi. Straight ahead, bam. Now those moves were slow motion. One, two, three, press. Then we're going fast. Now we're going back to chop, punch really fast, and fold. So that same combination we did earlier, we're going chop, chop, punch, and spin. That's what I'm doing towards the corner. Chop. Chop punch, and then I'm going to hook this foot behind, and I'm going to use my hips to rotate me into a back stance. At the same time, I'm going to execute an outside open hand block. So I hook, fold, use my hips, outside block, shift spear right down the middle. Fingertips are right under my elbow, supporting that elbow. Over here, hit, and then it's going to be back combination. I'll do slow motion. Back round kick. I spin and tornado kick. I spin, wheel kick, land into basically with this leg in front, throw, pull. All right, so let me show you that last combination. Outside press, shift. Spear hand, back round, tornado, spin wheel, road strike, and then I pull, but my arm is only going to bend at a 90 degree angle. I'm not pulling it in. We used to say, you're grabbing someone's throat, you're pulling it out, you don't want guts all over your body, so you're just going to pull it at a 90 degree angle. The way you get power on this is actually from dropping your hips, so you're in that front stance. You grab, and then I drop my hips and pull 90 degrees. And I'm done. Back to Chubi. Together, Chariot, Kyungin. And that's Kato's time.